I'm Wynn Dunwell, Extension Horticulturist for the University of Kentucky. Today we're going to talk about cleaning up your spades, shovels, other tools you use for digging in the soil. This particular one was left in the back of a truck and was ignored for a long period of time and then we stopped using it altogether. But if you wanted to attempt to reuse this tool, it would have to be cleaned. And you can see there's already rust marks in the soil, so we're not going to bother with this, but we'll move on to what you can do. We had a spade that was accidentally left in the back of a truck and got quite bad over winter. So you see, we've smoothed it out, we've cleaned it up, we've used a wire brush, we've used a rag to wipe it, and we've even used some emery cloth to try to sand it down and get it smooth so that the soil doesn't stick to it when you're digging. So we're in pretty good shape on this. We've actually used this spade this year for digging trees. But if you really want to have a good digging tool, no matter what it is, this happens to be a spade, but if you want a spading fork or your shovel or whatever it might be, every time you use it, clean it. And the first thing to do, I just take a piece of scrap burlap and I rub, you see that soil on there? I rub that soil off with, the, with that. And that gives me, lets me use some of that soil, literally, as sandpaper to polish the spade. So, as you can see, it's cleaning up, it's shining pretty good. And this spade has been cared for since new in that way. If you leave soil on there for even a few minutes, it starts to stain the, stain the metal a little bit. If you leave it on there for a while, of course, you'll get rust. So we're going to go ahead and clean it. And you can see even the backside. So we've cleaned it. We're in pretty good shape. Now we want to sharpen it. So how do we do that? I use a mill bastard file. You can use any length you want. It just happened to have this size handy. And I just sharpen it on one side. Down the sides as well, because when you wiggle the spade to cut roots when you're digging, it'll cut a, a root that's hanging up on the side as well as the front. Then I don't sharpen it on the back side. Now this is not a religious thing it's, or dogma. It's literally just a preference I have from my youth growing up in the nursery industry. But you'll notice right away there's burrs on this side from just that simple little thing I just did. So I take the burrs off with, the, with this. You can just guess, digging in soil, how quickly you'll get pits and marks in that edge. So those who dig frequently and a lot will sharpen their tools regularly and probably will have to replace them because the sharpening will wear the tool down. Once we've done that, we're in pretty good shape to go ahead and start digging. But keeping a tool, this tool was bought in 1980 and it's been maintained and cleaned like I just showed you since it was new. And this is what you end up with, a clean, neat tool that soil doesn't stick to unless it's really muddy. And you can use it to dig whenever you need to with a sharp edge and clean. Now I also do do like we did with the pruner as the last part of the end of the day of digging, I spray it with, with alcohol to keel off any potential diseases that might be in that spade. You remember we have diseases such as Phytophthora and other things. So you might be digging a rhododendron, a blueberry, whatever, and you might have some soil diseases. So sanitation should be the last part of your, of your procedure. Thank you for watching. I'm Wynn Dunwell, University of Kentucky.